Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back. My name is Joel, and this is A Stable Life. Now, you might be thinking, did he just say afternoon? Well, yeah, that's exactly right. Today, in this video, we're starting things off actually in the afternoon. As you can see, the lovely Buster and Rocky are looking beautiful, and they are out enjoying the other side of their run. You guys having a good day today, huh? Yeah, you want to say hello to everybody? Let me say hello. Uh, we've got plenty of things that we need to do and we're pretty much picking up on the tail of a few things that we mentioned in the last video. Well, we need to get grain. Our hay feeders are empty, no surprise there. Not to mention I have a plan for what I'm gonna do to fix that large bale that's just too challenging for us to get hay out of it right now inside the barn. So all of that's ahead, but to start, let's pick things up with getting grain. Right, Buster? And so to start our day, we're heading off to go pick up some grain for our horses. However, you guys may have noticed I'm in a different vehicle than normal. I am not in the truck, nor do I have a trailer hooked up behind me. That's because I'm in my personal vehicle. I'm heading to get grain. Uh, I guess from what I'm on, from what I'm told, there has been a crazy month with horse feed. And so they don't have our entire order. So we're going to have to make two trips to pick it up. So the first trip that I'm going to pick it up should be able to just fit in my car here. Gonna save me the entire hassle of having to hook the truck up to the trailer and of course with the pallet forks and everything else in between. See if this all fits in my car. I'm hopeful that it does. I looked up the weight specs of everything so we should be good. Should being the operative word. Well, I didn't even need to get creative with my stack and I could definitely have fit another 12 bags in here. Easily could have done another 12. Good stuff. So the grain that we have will fill both of these bins. We're hoping that it'll fill this one all the way up and this one all the way up. Next weekend is when they're gonna get their shipment in and so we're gonna get right up there and get the rest of our shipment once they get their shipment. A lot of logistics involved. I'm telling you guys, I definitely could have fit another six to 12 bags in here. Easy. All right, let's get these in the grain bins. Alrighty, there we go. That ought to do us for the week. And that job is now done. Next up, let's see what we can do about this. All right, so here's the plan. The bale's pinched between this cinder block wall and this bale over here. I'm gonna take the spear, I'm gonna put it right back there, and I'm just gonna pull out, taking the middle of the bale and sponging it out this way. And Bob's your uncle, at least. That's the thought anyway. Let's see if it works in practice. So it sort of worked and ended up pulling out a whole two slices here and then of course the slice we were just pulling out with the pitchfork. So yeah, sort of worked. Okay, so some events took place. That happened. Looks like I broke the pitchfork. So we're gonna need a new one of those. And I'm gonna grab the wheelbarrow and stick it in right here so that we have it for taking hay back and forth. Of course, as the horses eat this hay, this will clean itself up. I just made sure we have a nice decent walkway to walk through. Is this how I wanted to leave it? No, but I'm gonna consider this a job well done. Yeah, and, and sorry about the pitchfork, Mom. And then the last time I used this wheelbarrow, I noticed a lot of you guys were saying that we need a new wheelbarrow. And I have no idea what you guys are talking about. This thing is in excellent condition. Before we move on to the next stage, which is taking hay out, I'm gonna feed the horses because I like the pastures being empty when I'm taking hay out. So we're gonna measure out and get these good looking ponies in the barn. Technically, we don't actually have any ponies here other than like maybe Jack. Jack could be classified as a pony, but he doesn't like that. So we're right in the middle of putting grain in for all the horses. And I just wanted to show you guys a little extra thing that we're doing for Champ. A lot of you may not know this, but Champ is actually a very old horse. If you want to get to know a little bit more about Champ, I actually have a video where I talk about all of the horses here at our stable. One of them, of course, being Champ. Give you guys his age and a little bit more about his personality. If you're interested, I recommend going and checking that out. But Champ has arthritis. It's a little hard for him to move, so we give him some medicine to kind of help his joints free up a little bit and so he's not as stiff. And one of those things that we're giving him is called Arthrosooth Gold Edition. I don't know who comes up with these names, but anyway, he gets one ounce of this daily. So you can see we've got an ounce right there. And I don't know if anybody's ever used these things before, but I think they're just so neat. So the way it works is if you measure it, and we could just dump out that ounce right into his system. Nothing else comes out of this. Squeeze, and you can see it filling up that little container. And then once we get to an ounce, that's when we let it go. Put our cap back on, and boom. 
There you go, ready for the next day. Put that underneath the bucket, because as far as Champ's concerned, that area doesn't exist. And we'll continue on with the rest of the horses. And with all the horses having their green in their stalls, that means, of course, it's time to bring them in. Starting with our donkeys, Buster and Rocky. Now, I could feed them through the window, but I know you guys just love getting some donkey time on the camera, so we're gonna head in with them. Hey, beautifuls. Hey, Buster, you wanna say hello to everybody? There you go. There you go, boys, eat up. We're just gonna close this door and get this stall ready for Tucker. And now the left and right runs are separated. Oh, by the way, uh, in case uh, anyone was wondering about how Buster's doing with the whole skunk thing, he's fine, he's good. But randomly, you can still smell a little bit of skunk. <laughs> uh, that's funny, man. Let's bring in some horses. Now you guys are used to seeing me letting in the horses for the morning feeding, and of course we rotate our pastures. So that means the horses you're gonna see coming in from the middle field are different than the horses that you would usually see. And it looks like we've only got three that are here ready to go, and two are down in the round bell feeder. Oh, nope, they're on their way. And two are being worked up in the ring. That's Tucker and Samson. Samson, of course, is in the big field day and night, but Tucker, Tucker, is only in the big field during the evening. During the day, he's out in the middle field. There you go, Swade. Good afternoon, Argento. I see you were sleeping in the dirt. Nice stuff. Good afternoon, Swade. Good to see you. Good afternoon, Duke. Good to see you. And we got Obi and Spitfire on the way with Skywalker still eating hay. Yeah, hey Spitfire. Hey Skywalker, look at you walking all good. That's what we like to see. I can't wait till the grass starts growing. We're getting closer. We're getting super close this spring. Woo. I'm excited. And we have the big field. Looks like everybody's just getting here. Hey, Gavin. Good afternoon. Hey, Danny. Hey, Poncho. Good to see you. Weather. Of course, some horses are in this field twice, morning and evening. Other horses are only in here during the day, like Champ, Jack. Hey, good to see you, Sriracha. Rebel. Declan, looking good. Archer, looking good. Hey, Docs. Look at you not being last. How exciting. Hey, George. Hey, buddy. Yeah, come on in, Roni. Hey, Casino. Come on in, guys. Good stuff. And last but not least is William, who is down there smelling the poo. But I mean, what else would you expect from a stallion? Looks like Tucker made his way into his stall. You enjoy your food, Tucker. And at last, we have now reached the point where we're able to take hay out. Woo! Let's see how these bales look. Look at that. Horses are just gonna eat that right up. Good deal. Hay's all taken care of, so that means we can let the horses back out where they belong in the pastures. Alrighty guys, we have all the horses out of the barn. If you listen closely, you could just hear the birds. They're all out enjoying the beautiful sun that we're getting today. Nice sunny day today. Even though the temperature has been cold, right around 30s and 40s, it's uh, nice and sunny, so the horses don't have to be blanketed, which is awesome. I certainly hope that you guys enjoyed another day here at Sinol Stables. It's always nice to have you guys with me. And it's gonna be on that lovely note that that's gonna be where we're drawing an end to the video for today. If you haven't, don't forget to hit that like button and make sure that you're subscribed to keep up to date on future videos. Don't forget, there's also an Amazon list down there if you guys are interested in kind of getting some supplies for our stable and helping us out here. Of course, anything that you do is greatly appreciated. And if you're just interested in seeing what we use to use for your own stable, of course, you're more than welcome to do that as well. 
Thanks for watching guys. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.